grabbing out from the location with yet another extremely nice group of extremely nice Floridians. Those are transplants from New York and Florida combining into one awesome place. Very grateful to have been here. We'll show you some footage if we can. This vlog, big shot on the GH5. Shot again with it today. Let's just look at some. small rig uh, cage for the GH5 and although it's a really cool little design there are some major hang-ups on it one being our fingers getting to the buttons especially the ones we use the most like ISO and white balance uh, it's a little problematic even getting to the the record button is a little bizarre one of the upticks however is I love the fact that there's a little ridge for the Allen key to hang out so you can just have your Allen key with you should you need it I'm sure we'll probably lose it but in the meantime it's there uh, I like the various mic mounting points that are available. It doesn't look, though, like it could mount to the to use the um, audio gimmick, whatever that thing's called, the, the, the hot sled, hot shoe sled thing. It doesn't look like it's going to fit that very well. But the various brackets on the outside are pretty awesome. That said, we, of course, wanted to try a new one. So we looked at one of our favorite retailers, which is Wooden Camera, which is what is in this box, we believe, we certainly hope. So it's our little unboxing video of the Wooden Camera Unified Rig. We've used a lot of wooden camera in the past. They always uh, tend to ship things, at least as a packing style, pretty well. Of course, our invoice. Everything is individually wrapped, which is always a perk of wooden camera stuff. Make sure. I wish they would have given us some candy. All right, so going through them. You need some of this bubble wrap, don't you? Always. We've got a battery slide, so we bought this so that we could actually start using our Anton Bauer batteries with the um, with the GH5. Uh, since we already have this with the red, it just made sense for us to move into that space. Just like all wooden camera stuff, it comes with 10 billion screws, but the build is solid. You could club a baby seal with this, and uh, you would win. So it's a great solid build. We, we have to then go turn around and mount our battery bracket to the back of it, and then we have various mounting points various mounting points on how you want to set it up for a swivel or whatever it might be there. So this is the base. Uh, it's basically like a riser so we can use our 15 millimeter rod system. Again, wooden camera, always good quality on their build and their packaging, very simplistic. That's what I like the most. So now we have this riser that uh, the upside of this is now we can run two 15 millimeter rods, run our existing mat box we already have. So if you already have a matte box, this is something to consider. Uh, the build-on is fantastic. I can't wait to get it on the camera. It also has uh, a dummy director-proof um, thing that you have to give to an AC. Let's see if you can work on that. Again, comes with bags and screws, all the ones you need. Pretty soon, maybe pull straight up. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But even the, the screws are so well machined that they don't strip out very easily, and that's a big perk. On to the big boy. So, what we have here is the small unified DSLR cage by Wooden Camera. Again, same level of quality inside the bag, inside the box, multiple bags, multiple boxes, various threading materials. We have the side mount that uh, elevates down, works like a slider elevator. And then we have this awesome top handle that what really makes me happy is it makes me feel very nice and old school to be back to a wooden handle. I miss those days. Uh, and yeah, and it, it has a full function ability of kind of swapping around. I believe it's even a hot, uh, not a hot shoe, but it has a, the ability just to, to fly off. It's got another cold shoe on the top there, which is great. 
But what I found really interesting about it is the handle, I believe, unscrews, and boy, is it tight. Good grief. I haven't worked my, my wrist this month since college. Holy smokes, when will it end? I think I'm taking the whole thing off. Well, whatever, I'll have to figure that out. Actually, Jeff will have to figure that out. Oh, there's a pin. Brilliant. So there's a micro pin. So we screw it back on. Well, it's definitely director proof, which means it's definitely true proof, which means that only Jeff will be able to figure out how to use it, which is good. And I'm sure everybody watching will know how to use it. And I will be the laughing stock of the universe. I'm okay with that. Anyway, what we really liked about it, if I could figure out how to move all the gits around, is this bracket here, when it sits on top of the camera, you can invert the handle around so that here you can slide in audio piece from the hot shoe so it still works. So you can slide it right in, keep your cage on it, move the handle around. I believe you invert it to the front side. And then all of a sudden you have a handled version with the audio rig completely built out, which I think will be great for a lot of products or a lot of usage. Uh, but for us, we're really looking forward to it from a documentary sort of docu-style format. I got to tell you this stuff, no buyer element because I don't really care one way or the other. I'm a little worried it's going to add a good bit of weight to the camera. So the small rig is a very light rig. This feels a little bit heavier. However, that beefiness does make me feel a little more confident in the product itself. And again, we've been using wooden cameras since 2012, yeah. like some of their very first stuff. So we're real big fans of it. So we're gonna build the camera out eventually and we'll show a piece of that. But in the meantime, this is our quick review. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison at some point, but for now, unboxing video, done. Thank you.